Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to begin a new subject line, the second coming of Jesus, which is something that I'm really looking forward to. The Bible tells us that Jesus was ascending into heaven after his death and resurrection. Two angels appeared and said to the disciples, This same Jesus, who was taken from you into the heavens, will come back in the same way that you have seen him go into the heavens. As it tells us in Acts 1 verse 11. Ever since the second coming of Jesus has been eagerly anticipated by his followers in every age. As early as the first century, however, questions began to emerge. Some people thought that the second coming had already occurred and that they had been left behind. Others thought that it would never happen and they mocked Christians who were still waiting. Still others used the confusion over the second coming to teach their own kooky views of the end of the world. What's ironic is that, that all of those things are still happening today. That's why in our next five readings uh, are going to be so useful. They'll help us to clarify what the Bible says about this important topic. We'll begin by examining the ascension of Jesus. It's a preview of what his second coming will be like. Then we'll dig into the teachings of the two key leaders of the early church, Paul and Peter, to find out how they answered the questions that were being raised. And finally, We'll take a look at Revelations 21 and 22, the last two chapters of the Bible. And we'll get a picture of what the end times will be like. And the encouraging thing is that the end is only the beginning of the new world with God at, at its center. But if the Bible is clear about the second coming, why do so many still seem confused about today? The answer, I believe, is that people take the information in the Bible to one or two extremes. Some make it so, too much of the second coming. Their whole worldview is built around the most obscure details of the end times. Others make too little of the second coming. For them, it might happen, it might not, mm, who, who cares? That's why our goal in this section will be to form a balanced biblical view of the second coming. Because the one thing that is beyond question is that someday Jesus will come back in the same way that he went up into the heavens. An old what a joyous day that will be. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.